Happy St. Patrick's Day. Welcome to Frank Bruno Law. I'm Frank Bruno, and I'm an elder law and estate planning attorney. Today, I'd like to speak about virtual consultations. Before I get to that, if you would like to speak with me by phone or virtually, please go to callfrankbruno.com. Virtual consultations are all the rage especially in light of novel coronavirus, COVID-19. So today, um, it's business unusual, right? Sort of. Business as usual, and in the new usual is the new unusual. Today, I had, uh, I actually had an in-person consultation uh, not a consultation. I had a client come in uh, and met with me. So it wasn't a consultation. It was an existing client that I had to meet, wanted to meet with me. I was fine to meet the client. Um, I have a staff and the staff is uh, quite concerned uh, as everyone in New York is. And um, some of my staff worked remotely today. So uh, we have a server, we have access, um, we can log in. So one, the, uh, the person that I, uh, I let work remotely today, um, and I, I offered that to all of my staff. And uh, I trust my staff, they, uh, uh, they work uh, with me. The confidentiality uh, is, uh, is sacred and we have the ability to get some scan documents, uh, some of our, uh, our software, and we can dial into the server. So it's the very same server that's, uh, that we're using in the office. It's, a, uh, it's in the cloud. Now, uh, what I wanted to talk about was a virtual consultation. And I, I had a meeting today uh, by Zoom. And there are one of several uh, providers, the Zoom, Go to webinar, uh, freeconferencecall.com. They all have the ability to do uh, video conferencing. And um, I have uh, a camera on my desktop and uh, logged in to Zoom. And uh, the person that I met, they were in their office. I was in mine. And uh, we were able to, uh, to talk about uh, a free-flowing conversation, uh, discussion. Uh, questions were asked and answered by, by both people, and it, it worked out nicely. My The door to my office was closed. It was just myself and the other person. Now, uh, what I wanted to really talk about is the fact that when it's one-on-one, -on -one, there's complete attorney confidentiality. That's per um, the canons of ethics. It's by common law. It's by statute. Uh, I'm in the uh, jurisdiction of New York. I am a fully admitted attorney and I am bound by confidentiality, meaning anything that you tell me, anything that I observe, I cannot disclose to any person without your express permission. And so if you ask me uh, or have me uh, do something on your behalf, certainly I could, I could speak about that. That's express permission. Now, if you have an adult child with you, if you have a paramour, if you have any third person in the meeting room, it actually defeats the attorney-client privilege. So uh, that's something you have to think about, and it's the very same way on a virtual con consultation. If there's anyone in that room, if anyone is listening, um, that defeats attorney-client privilege and the confidentiality. So. Uh, if anyone would like to speak with me about your situation, if you would like the uh, opportunity to ask me questions while seeing me, it's uh, sort of like this. Uh, you get to hear me speak, you get to see me, you see my mannerisms, my inflection, uh, the good and the bad, right? Um, but I'm more than willing to answer questions and speak uh, by telephone uh, if uh, person doesn't have technology. So if they don't have access to a desktop or a smartphone and they need to speak on the phone, I'm more than willing to speak on the phone. 
If you would like to speak with me, please go to callfrankbruno.com. Thank you.